using the carve in this one. I don't even remember what I used to run on this thing, to be honest. I, I remember back in the day, I had some pretty good setups for it, uh, but I kind of just targeted the fire rate aspect of it this time. But again, I'm not really sure what I used to run. I don't know if it was better to increase the damage or the damage range. I'm just not really 100% on that. Uh, the iron sights aren't the worst thing I've ever seen. That guy just hit marker me. There was a guy right there. He's still there. All right, we're going to turn around because I think we already got a flip here. Based on my teammate's location, that wasn't exactly the perfect start I was imagining. But uh, we'll make it work. We'll suffice. Oh, there's a guy literally right there. He's sitting in his spawn. Not much I can do with that, to be honest. I'm maybe get more aggressive. It's hard to be aggressive with a weapon like this, to be fair. I can't exactly run at them. You know, I gotta, gotta keep my distance. It's always like that with burst weapons, but they're gonna be sitting back. It may be a bit of a challenge. Oh, there's one. Like I said, if they're gonna be sitting back, this is not gonna be easiest tax for me here. All right, well, we're up to eight. Like I'm definitely, I'm on a good pace here. I am on a good pace, even though I'm not stringing it all together. I think I can. See, like right there, that's what I'm talking about when it comes down to close range. Like I can't run at them. Not a good vibe, not a good look. This weapon's definitely more of like a medium range burst weapon. It's not, you know, it's not your M16 or even your AUG. You're not gonna get these nice, crazy one burst kills. I don't wanna call it a slow paced weapon. It's definitely not super slow. It's not LMG levels of slow, but it's not exactly fast. I'm gonna have to assume they're over here in front of me still, so. They're on both sides. Might have to do a little regrouping here. See, like, there's the M16 where, he, you know, he just one bursted me into oblivion. This isn't that kind of weapon. If I could st string some kills together, that would be fantastic. Get some streaks. Uh, so far, that's not the case. There's uh, not much map position here on the team front. Yeah, you see what I mean? There's not much map positioning, so it's kind of just a free-for-all here. That's fall. That's a quad feed. Okay. All right, 23. Wasn't expecting a quad feed out of that. This was probably not the best weapon, to be honest, to be running on this particular map. See, like, I can't get away. I, if I had, like, a fast-paced weapon, like, all these guys are using SMGs. If I have an SMG, I think I'm frying, you know what I mean? Doesn't matter. I mean, I am frying. I have 26. Make that 27. So my teammates are all over the place. I'm not sure if I should be turning around, checking the escalators. I'm going to check this way quick. Here one. There's our stray front. Once I get that harp, I think we're golden. They're all pushing me. And that's our harp. They're on both sides here. Good throw.
another cruise missile. We're going to hold that for when the strafe run's done. I think the strafe run's got a couple more passes here. All right, let's go with the uh, cruise missile here. One there. Okay. What's crazy is I start to go on a streak now. I should, in theory, be able to lock in a, a 50 bomb here, but I got to hit some shots and get some kills. I don't know if this guy's going to repeat me. I'm hoping he does. He did just wait for the most unideal time to do it, but he did it. I could, probably could have had a nuke here. If I had a good start. <laughs> Teammates got that tech nine cheese. Got to turn around. I think they're going to. I did get 50. And make that 52 to end us off here. Not the smoothest game, but I definitely picked it up towards the end. I feel like this wasn't the build I used to run back in Cold War's primary life cycle. I may have to go back to some of my older videos to take a look to see what I was running. It felt good, but I felt like I used to one burst a little more. Maybe I had like one of those damage barrels on that, you know, shot up the headshot damage or something. We'll have to go back and look, but this one still felt pretty good. So our first attachment is the agency silencer, giving us that vertical recoil and keeping us off of the mini map. It did feel good. There's no complaints on this for our barrel. I did increase the fire rate with the titanium barrel. Probably this is the attachment I would change. The rest of it felt pretty good. I don't think it needed the extra fire rate. Personally, it was pretty fast, but I think I would probably try out the strike team next time or maybe even the task force. We'll just have to wait and see. It was still pretty good. If you guys want to copy this down, feel free to do so. For the underbrow, I had the field agent grip giving us vertical and horizontal recoil control. As you guys saw in the gameplay, virtually had no recoil. So they take with that what you will. For our magazine, I did go with the 40, 50 four round drum to increase our ammo count at no sacrifice to aim down sight speed and our final attachment was the raider pad to primarily increase that sprint to fire speed we are also gaining 40 percent towards that aim walking speed so here's going to be all your attachments on the screen if you guys needed to pause the video to copy these ones down thank you guys so much for watching make sure you hit like and subscribe if you have not already i'll see you guys in the next one